look like poo poo. I match the car. I'm, I'm just a head. Everything's gray. This is not a good look. Um, how's the lighting here? You know what? I still have gloves in here from the beginning of quarantine. Remember when everyone was wearing gloves? Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, AKA V and Booty Cat, and today we're having a very informal video. It is raining, it is cold, but guess who needs content for the new year? Uh, me. I took a whole week off of YouTube, and I told myself that if I'm gonna take a week off, I might as well try to get like a couple videos ahead, just in case I get busy, I don't miss any days, I don't get too stressed, so here I am, recording a YouTube video on New Year's Eve. Now, I always forget, is New Year's Eve the holiday, or is New Year's Day the holiday? I'm not asking like, when do people celebrate, because I know people celebrate on New Year's Eve, but like officially, like the day you get off work and all that stuff, like, is that usually New Year's Day or New Year's Eve? I don't know. The reason why I'm asking is, I don't know if this place is even open, and it's 40 minutes away from my apartment, which means it's quite a drive. So if I go all the way there and it's closed, I'm gonna be really like, disappointed. <sighs> Today we're going to Veggie Castle. Veggie Castle is a vegan favorite. It's in a very, not very vegan friendly part of New York. Like, it's like a little veggie haven, you know, for the people who live in that area. It's out in Queens. And especially for OG vegans, it's just like very popular, you know? Fond memories for the OG vegans. It's been around for a while. I reviewed this place like three, Two years ago, I reviewed the place two years ago, a year and a half, a while ago. It was black when I had long brown hair, that's what I remember. And I just remember being like, eh. Like it was fine, like I didn't get the hype, but I think I got the wrong thing. I was talking to a friend of mine who is a Veggie Castle fan, and they said that I messed up, that I should not have gotten sandwiches. They are most popular for their like plates. You can get like a plate full of like things you know um and when i got there instead i got sandwiches and i was i don't want to say i was disappointed it wasn't that bad but it wasn't that great either so 2021 is a year of new beginnings so we're gonna drive all the way to veggie castle and cross our fingers that it's open and we're gonna get ourselves a plate for breakfast because it is almost noon and i have not eaten yet starting route to veggie castle this weather is disgusting and the windshield wipers don't do much except smear it around. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I think it's right there. I've been here once before and it was like on this side of that triangle building. I literally just saw someone walk in. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa. Is this a spot? No, that's a fire hydrant. There are a lot of driveways and uh uh, fire hoses, fire hydrants in this neighborhood. I'm having trouble, oh, that's not right, uh, with parking. Okay, parking acquired, I'm about a block away. I'm gonna walk over, I think I'm gonna get two plates because uh, Roberto and his daughter are back home, still in bed, I think. <laughs> if you listen, it's a rainy day, it's a holiday, everybody deserves to sleep in. Um, so this way I can get more things to taste test, but also they get food for breakfast. The last time I shot here, I literally shot the video right there, right there. Do you wanna sit here and try the food? Here? You can do it. Is it hype on the floor? Okay, all right, we'll do that. I don't know how their setup is for COVID. So here's the whole spread out before us. Obviously I couldn't get everything, so I just got what looked good. Mac and cheese, obviously, because always mac and cheese. And then I got a bunch of veggies. These mashed potatoes looked so good, so I had to. And then drumsticks, because every time I see someone coming here, they get these, so there. It was weird they had lo mein, but I just rolled with it, and this soy chicken looked bomb. I got two large plates. I did not need two large plates. I did not know how much food that was. I didn't know, okay? Let's disinfectant wipe our hands. Also, I'm pretty sure that I'm parked right outside of a crack house. Just looking at the food, I know I fucked up by getting sandwiches last time. I just know it, just, okay, so I paid $30 for this food, which doesn't seem like it's cheap, right? But look at how much food I just, I, I could eat this for two and a half days. 
This is like two and a half days worth of meals, I swear, look. Each one you get five items. So in this one, I tried to stick with like an Asian theme because I don't know why, but they had like asian -y food in there. So, uh, but then it went off the rails. So, uh, so that's Asian-y. We have lo mein, some green beans. This is some like chicken. I asked what else, they just called it chicken, so whatever. And then we have collard, which is not Asian. And then we have curried chickpeas. So like, these two match, and then like, these three match. And then this one was more like, American-y, okay? So we have some asparagus, some mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, uh, drumsticks, and okra. Is that American-y? I mean, maybe in the South, whatever. Uh, so I have 10 items to try today. Let's just say that this place is not for people who don't like their food to touch because everything is touching up in here. Cuisines are touching, veggies are touching, carbs are touching, sauces, definitely touching. But my car smells amazing. And if only you could smell how amazing my car smells, maybe you can forget about how I look like I just woke up. I'm literally in my pajamas. I did not get changed this morning. I got up, I washed my face, I brushed my teeth, I drank my coffee, and then I hopped into my car because I'm like, video needs to be shot. Look at this! Bro, bro, let's go mashed potatoes. Oh, it's so creamy. I see skins, I see scallions. Mmm, that's not plain mashed potatoes. They have like little pieces of pepper. I don't know. It's delicious mm -mm -mm. We're gonna grab an okra. Oh Oh, that's very good Thank you for everybody who yelled at me for getting sandwiches last time asparagus That could use a little bit of salt, but still good And now the mac and cheese I tried the mac and cheese last time. I remember it being very creamy, but not very flavorful, but same. It's super creamy, but it's not like super flavorful. But when you have it in a plate with a bunch of other things, that's fine. It doesn't have to be like super sharp, you know? It provides a nice creamy element to the dish. The mashed potatoes and okra, I think are like the best thing on this plate, the okra. Mmm. Okay. I know y'all have been waiting for this wing. So it looks like a Maywa wing. You know what I'm talking about? Like from the Asian um, place. That's a good little lighting. Uh, but the sauce looks delightful. Pretty sure they make it themselves. Mmm. It has a real like chew to it. Like very meaty texture. Like This plate gets a 9 out of 10. Oh, I moved this to get better lighting. I think I did a good job. You can see, like, my little constellation of pimples much better now. Not very many vegan places do, like, comfort food. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like, listen, like, I'm not talking about, like, the kind of food. I'm talking about, like, how the food makes you feel. All right, now I'm going to try this lo mein. Like, why do they make lo mein? That's so random, no? It doesn't taste like lo mein. That doesn't take a taste Asian at all. I mean, it tastes good. It tastes like noodles. But that's not lo mein. They definitely put curry in there. I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's a little funny though. Speaking of curry. Mmm. I love curry chickpeas. Now we're gonna try collards. I don't like collards. I just felt like it was appropriate because everyone said to get it. So here I am. If I don't like it, it's probably just my taste buds. You can try it for yourself. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Still not a huge fan. I just don't like the bitterness that collards have, you know? But some people do, so. Here's a chicken. Mmm. This is like a sweet and sour sort of deal. With the chicken, some celery, some peppers, some onion. This is really good. This definitely tastes like more, like, Asian-y. Green beans. Mmm. I like that the green beans aren't overcooked. They're so crunchy. All right, this is what I would get. Mashed potatoes and mac and cheese, for sure. Okra, for sure. That's three, so I get two more, right? I think asparagus and the asian -y chicken. And while this plate is like $15, it's so much food, bro. I'm full and look, look, it's still like a full plate. The other plate's still full too. I am way too full. Oh, I ate that way too fast, that was too much. 
Uh, Ew, there's like bugs in my light. Ah, please don't. Oh, why? How? Get out of here. That's gross. How did that even happen? As I was saying, thank you everybody who showed me the error in my ways. I messed up. I messed up, I got the wrong things. This is only the second time I've ever done like a redemption video. Like I gave a restaurant a second chance. The first time was toad style and the second chance I gave it like didn't didn't turn out great either. Like I just don't think I like toad style's food. But this time it was worth it. I should try making okra, it's been a while. But if you live in the area, then I definitely recommend it. Skip the sandwiches, just get a plate. Uh, get a plate of whatever looks good. Like, everything was good. I just, there are some things that I liked more than others. I would give the whole plate experience an 8.5 out of 10. Delightful. I don't know if you saw, but they also do, like, juices. Um, again, they do sandwiches. They do smoothies, like, wheatgrass shots. But they also have, like, a bunch of vegan desserts. Like, you can get, like, slices of cake and pie and cookies and all that stuff. And they also have drinks, which now I'm regretting not getting a drink. I kind of kind of wish I had a drink, but anyway, that is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed this very impromptu video in my pajamas. I mean, like, it's leggings, but, like, I slept in these. Like, the sleepiness is still on them, and now okra is on them, so I have to change. That is all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. Also, in 2021, which is the year that this video is going to be posted in, I'm building a camper from wood and traveling the United States to try restaurants. So if you'd like to support that, then join my Patreon down below. That is all I have for today. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye. But that's not my outro. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex, Crates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, and Mariana. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.